let's talk about a very useful feature in Cosmos DB known as change feed. So change feed uh, is a service that monitors changes in all containers and distributes events triggered by those changes to multiple consumers. So change feed in Azure Cosmos DB is a persistent record of changes to container in, in the order that they occur. Um, and the utility of this, um, like this is not unique to a Cosmos DB. A lot of databases uh, might have like extensions or modules. Uh, DynamoDB has something similar called DynamoDB streams. But the idea is that um, you have a data source and you have an insert and update. And the idea is that that record uh, goes into the change feed and then you can react to that, uh, to that record and push it to other services. And so the idea is just, it's a, like a way of triggering something on an insert. So you say, okay, I insert this data. Um, and so then send this data over to this other service. Um, so it's just a way of triggering stuff, okay? Azure has an SDK for .NET, Java, Python, Node.js, nothing for Ruby. They're having lots of trouble with the Ruby SDK. At some point, they'll fix it. Um, the change feed is supported for SQL API, Cassandra API, MongoDB API, Gremlin API, basically all the APIs, with the exception of table API. Um, so that's that. In terms of its implementation, the change feed processor is composed of four components. We have the monitor container. This is where any insert or update executes the operations are ref uh, reflected in the change feed. I can get my pen out here so if we can see where it is. So the monitor the container, I guess collections are up here. Um, we have lease container. See, they're saying collections because a collection, um, remember a, con a collection is a mapping to a container. So a collection container, we're kind of just uh, interchanging right here but stores the state and coordinates the change feed uh, processor, which is down here. Uh, the host, an application instance that uses the change feed processor to listen for changes. So that's the way it's, it knows what to do. Um, the delegate, the code that runs when an event in the change feed notification triggers it. And so that's the code within the consumer there. The change feed processor may be hosted among Azure services that support long running tasks such as Azure Web Jobs, Azure Virtual Machines, Azure Kubernetes Services, Azure.NET Hosted Services. So um, we could have looked at the code. It's a bunch of C-sharp code that they have as examples. It's super not exciting. Um, but you know, I just want you to know about this feature. Um, but again, it's not unique to Cosmos DB, but it is a common thing that you should know about uh, for these kind of fully managed databases, okay?